Hey there, welcome to the channel. My name's Matt. Today, let's take a look at the EasyCap 283S. It's a uh, large metal capture device that um, is really ideal for streaming. Probably a bit overkill when it comes to uh, converting old videos that you may have around. I got mine from dx.com, uh, but you can get them on Amazon and you can get them on eBay and a few other sort of online stores. In this test, I'm just going to use it for capturing straight to a USB. It's more just an experiment to see how good this device is straight to USB. So what comes in the box? Comes with quite a few items. Comes with the instruction manual and also the driver installation. Explains that if there's driver issues. Comes with a US power adapter. Comes with an infrared remote control. Also comes with the infrared receiver. And it also comes with ArcSoft software. ArcSoft 3.5 to be precise. So if we take a closer look, we've got the infrared receiver port. We've got the infrared connection port. Host for USB, which will accept uh, USB FAT or NTFS. A line out for speakers or headphones. Microphone in and a mic volume control. Along the back, we've got HDMI out to a monitor. We have the component connections alongside the composite connections and HDMI input and your power input. Along the side, we have a mini USB port. Okay, so along the top, what have we got? On the left-hand side, we have the indicators for power and record, whether you're recording in 1080p or 720p, uh, then it will tell you whether you're connected as HDMI or component or the two lights together will uh, light up if you're in composite. On the right hand side we've got the record, the selection button for the 720 or 1080, uh, the source, you can take still shots from the recording, and then you have settings which is more for scheduling in relation to streaming. Connection is quite easy, just plugging the power. If you're from another country then chances are you will have to use an adapter. So once plugged in, all lights will start to indicate that there's power the indication on the little LCD screen is just really if you're setting up a stream and if you're setting a date for it to start automatically. Otherwise, you won't need to worry about what's being indicated. Connection via USB is only necessary if you were to record using the software. The software is exactly the same as the EasyCap 284. Connection is quite easy, you're just connecting the matching colors. So yellow for video and red and white for left and right speakers. So for this test, I'm just using the USB, the EasyCap 283S has automatically recognized that the composite cables are connected. All I have to do is select record, hit play on the VCR and away you go. USB will be blinking, indicating that there is data being written to it. When you finish recording, Simply just tap the record button, the record light will blink, and then you're good to go. Okay, next test we have HDMI. The HDMI light indicates that it recognizes HDMI cable. Simply tap the record button and you are good to go. Let's take a look at some of the samples. First up we have the composite sample. Some of you may think this is probably just a surveillance video of my kitchen, but it's not, I can assure you. So, in composite, it does record 25 frames per second. It, um, as you can see, it automatically detects the picture size. Next up, we have HDMI sample. And it gets worse. What on earth? I'm going to go out on a limb and just assume this is what happens when you take acid. This is what you visualize. This is what happens. So, jokes aside, the device does actually capture a decent quality, especially the HDMI. Um, otherwise, composite is acceptable. Okay, taking a closer look at the details, on the left hand side we have the composite sample which was 327 megabytes and on the right we have the HDMI sample at 641 megabytes. Looking at the details, the EasyCap 283S has definitely captured both at 720 by 576. The composite, as I was saying before, has done 25 frames per second while the HDMI has recorded it at 50 frames per second. The bitrate quality I would have preferred to have been a bit higher, especially with the composite, but it is what it is. 
quick comparison of the EasyCap 283 and the 284. Um, the 284, the one on top, came out after the EasyCap 283. And to be honest, I think it's probably a bit of a better deal. Uh, you've got the options for recording onto an SD card, onto a USB. It comes with the same driver and it's powered by, uh, can be powered by a computer. And you're able to do the exact same things except for the streaming. So what do I think of the EasyCap 283S? It's a great device. It does run a little bit hot if you're going over two hours. Um, you wouldn't be using this just to capture your videos. It's got all the built-in features for streaming and that's certainly not the sort of thing that you'd be doing uh, if you're just trying to record your own home videos. Composite is fine. HDMI is fine. Component is an issue. I'd only be using the two options of composite or HDMI, not the component. It's a well-built device, but it is a bit pricey. If I had to choose between the EasyCap 284 or this one, the 283S, I'd definitely go with the EasyCap 284. That's it for now. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.